In this video, I will be discussing about the Newton's Law of Cooling. The Newton's Law of Cooling states that the time rate of change of the temperature of the body is proportional to the temperature difference between the body and the temperature medium. Now, to model this Newton's Law of Cooling, let T sub B denotes the temperature of the body at any time T and T sub M denotes the constant temperature of the surrounding medium. Now take note that this temperature of the surrounding medium is constant here. Then we can write mathematically that the differential of T sub B with respect to time is equal to some constant K times the difference of T sub B and T sub M here where K is the constant of proportionality. Now, solving this one by separation of variables, we have the differential of T over T sub B minus T sub M, which is equal to K dt because here all the big t's represents temperature and the small t here represents time so we just isolate all the representations of temperature at the left and all representations that are not for temperature must be at the right hand side of this equation and we can do this by multiplying both sides of the equation by dt and dividing both sides of the equation by T sub B minus T sub M. And notice that T sub M is the temperature of the surrounding medium. But this is a constant temperature. This is not a varying temperature. So the derivative of T sub M must be zero. So if you get the derivative of this denominator T sub B, minus T sub M, the derivative is just the derivative of T sub B, and which is found here in our numerator. So this fraction represents du over u, because if this is our u, the du here is in the numerator. And we know that if we take the integral of D of T sub B over T sub B minus T sub M, the resulting integral is equal to the integral of K dt. But we know that the integral of this du over u is the natural log of our u. And our u here is the denominator T sub B minus T sub M, which is equal to the integral of the constant so you can factor it out and the integral of dt is t plus some constant say c prime here and because this is in logarithmic equation we can transform this expression into its equivalent exponential notation that this one is just the exponent of the constant of the natural log which is e so e to the power kt plus c prime so this is equal to t sub b minus t sub m however we can factor out this expression here as e to the power kt times e to the power c prime and you can check that if you multiply these two factors you can apply the loss of the exponent by adding these two exponents here, which the sum is this one. So this is the value of T sub B minus T sub M. And we know that when this Euler's constant E, when raised to another constant, the result is still a constant. So this is E to the power KT times some constant c here where our c is just 
the value of e to the power c prime and this one is equal to t sub b minus t sub m and multiplying this constant c to this expression here we have c times e to the power k t and this is equal to the difference of the temperature of the body and the temperature of the surrounding medium but adding both sides of the equation by t sub m we have t sub b which is the temperature of the body is equal to c times e to the power kt plus the temperature of the surrounding medium now this one is the mathematical representation of the newton's law of calling and to understand this representation of newton's law of calling let us apply this formula to our example number one here a copper ball is heated to a temperature of 100 degrees celsius then it is placed in water at a constant temperature of 30 degrees celsius at the end of two minutes the temperature of the ball is reduced to 70 degrees celsius then find the temperature of the ball five minutes after it was placed in water so to solve this problem let us apply our derived formula here which is the temperature of the body is equal to some constant c times e to the power kt plus the temperature of the surrounding medium now according to the problem that this heated ball at the start so time is zero the temperature of this copper ball is equal to 100 degrees celsius and it was placed in a water at a constant temperature of 30 degrees celsius so substituting this three here in this formula we have 100 degrees celsius is equal to some constant c e to the power k times zero because at the start the t is zero here plus the temperature of the surrounding medium which is the water is equal to 30 degrees celsius so removing this centigrade symbol here without loss of generality we have 100 is equal to c times e to the power zero because zero times k is zero plus 30 here and subtracting both sides of the equation we have 100 minus 30 and this is equal to c times one because when e is raised to the exponent of zero the result is one so 70 is equal to c then therefore our constant c is equal to 70 here so therefore our formula becomes the temperature of the body is equal to c which is 70 times e to the power kt plus the temperature of the surrounding medium but it was given in the problem that after two minutes the temperature of the copper ball is reduced to 70 degrees celsius so we'll write it here that after two minutes so our time is two then the temperature of the copper ball is 70 degrees celsius and take note that the temperature of the surrounding medium which is the water is still 30 degrees celsius so substituting this three in this formula we have 70 which is equal to 70 times e to the power k times 2 plus the temperature of the surrounding medium which is 30 and subtracting both sides of the equation by 30 we have 70 minus 30 is equal to 70 times e to the power 2k 
because k times 2 is equal to 2k. And dividing both sides of the equation by 70, we have 40 divided by 70 is equal to e to the power 2k. And transforming this one to its equivalent logarithmic form, we have 2k which is equal to the natural log of 40 over 70 or 4 over 7. So dividing both sides of the equation by 2, we have k which is equal to the natural log of 4 over 7 divided by 2 here. And using your calculator, k is equal to negative of 0.278. So, this is our value of k in our formula. Thus, our formula becomes t sub b, which is equal to 70 times e to the power of negative 0.2798t plus 30. But it was asked in the problem, what is the temperature of the ball? after five minutes that it was placed in the water so here we are asked to find the t of b t sub b when time is five minutes here so find the temperature of the copper ball after five minutes that it was placed in the water so substituting it in this formula we have 70 times e to the power of negative 2798 times t which is 5, 5 minutes plus 30. And using your calculator, the decimal when multiplied by 5 is equal to negative 1.399. And then the result will be added to 30. And Using our calculator, we have 70 times e to the power of negative 1.399, which is equal to 0.2468 And the product will be added to 30. And using our calculator, our t sub b is equal to 17.2791 and this will be added to 30. So our temperature of the copper bowl after 5 minutes is equal to 47.28 degrees Celsius here. And if you want to find the time at which the temperature of the bowl is reduced to 40 degrees Celsius, we are looking for the time t at which the ball is having a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. So mathematically, we write here finding the time t when the temperature of the copper ball is 40 degrees Celsius. So substituting this one to the formula, we have 40 is equal to 70 e raised to the exponent of negative 0.2798 t plus 30. And subtracting both sides of the equation by 30, we have 40 minus 30. And this is equal to 70 times e to the power of negative 0.2798 t here. So taking the difference, we have 10. So 10 is equal to 70 times this exponential expression here. Now dividing both sides of the equation by 70, we have 10 over 70 or 1 over 7 if you reduce. So this is equal to e to the power of negative 0.2798t here. So converting this one to its equivalent logarithmic form because the 
variable occurs in the exponent, we have negative 0.2798t is equal to the natural log of 1 over 7. So, dividing both sides of the equation by this negative 0.2798, we have t, which is the natural log of 1 over 7 divided by negative 0.2798. And using your calculator, our value of t is equal to 6.95 minutes. So it will take 6.95 minutes or almost 7 minutes to make the temperature of the bowl equal to 40 degrees Celsius. So this is our answer for this question letter B here. Now let's proceed to our second example here. At exactly 2 p.m., a thermometer reading of 70 degrees Fahrenheit is taken outdoors where air temperature is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that that is 10 below zero. But at 2.02 p.m., the thermometer reading is equal to 26 degrees Fahrenheit. And at 2.05 p.m., the thermometer is taken back indoors where the temperature is fixed at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the thermometer reading at exactly 2.11 in the afternoon? So to solve this problem, let us consider the two conditions one by one and the first condition is the outdoor condition and we know that at the start so t equals zero the thermometer reading is equal to 70 degrees fahrenheit but the temperature of the air outdoors is equal to negative 10 degrees fahrenheit so substituting this 3 to our formula, which is the temperature of the body is equal to the constant C times E to the power KT plus the temperature of the surrounding medium. But we know that this one is 70. So this is equal to C times E to the power K times 0. But the temperature of the surrounding medium is negative 10. So adding both sides of the equation by 10, we have 70 plus 10 here at the left. So this is equal to C times E to the power 0. Because the negative 10 here will be cancelled out. So we have 80 is equal to C times 1. So therefore, our C is equal to 80. So this is the value of the constant C, which is 80. So therefore, our formula becomes T sub B is equal to C, which is 80 times E to the power KT plus TM. But using our second condition here, that at exactly 202 in the afternoon, the thermometer reading is 26 degrees Fahrenheit. So we write here that at exactly 2 minutes after, the temperature is equal to 26 degrees Fahrenheit. But still, the temperature of the surroundings is equal to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So, substituting this 3 in this formula here, we have 26 degrees Fahrenheit because that is the value of our Tb. This is equal to 80 times E to the power K times 2 plus the temperature of the surroundings which is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So, adding both sides of the equation by 10, we have 26 plus 10 and this is equal to 80 times e to the power 2k so this is 36 which is equal to 80 
times e to the power 2k. So dividing both sides of the equation by 80, we have 36 over 80. And this is equal to e to the power 2k. And reducing this 36 over 80, we have 9 over 20. So 9 over 20 is equal to e to the power 2k. And converting this one to its equivalent logarithmic form, we have 2k is equal to the natural log of 9 over 20. And eliminating this 2 here, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 1 half. So k is equal to 1 half times the natural log of 9 over 20. So our k is approximately equal to negative 0.399. So this is the value of our k here. Thus, our formula becomes t sub b, which is equal to 80 times e to the power of negative 0.399 t plus the temperature of the surrounding which is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So at exactly 2 5 p.m. and that is 5 minutes after, the thermometer is taken back indoors. But before we compute for the temperature indoors, let us find out the temperature of the thermometer outside after 5 minutes there so we need to find tb here so therefore tb is equal to 80 times e to the power negative 0.399 times 5 minus 10 here and using your calculator we have the temperature which is equal to 0.87 degrees Fahrenheit and this is after 5 minutes. So this is the temperature of the thermometer after 5 minutes in the outdoor condition. But after this, the thermometer is taken back indoors. So let us consider the indoor condition here. And after 5 minutes, we'll reset the time to zero because this is another surrounding so at t which is equal to zero which is at 205 in the afternoon the temperature of the thermometer is equal to 0.87 degrees fahrenheit because this is the temperature outside and right after five minutes it will be taken back indoors but take note that the temperature indoor is set to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit because it's here the temperature is fixed at 70 degrees Fahrenheit indoors and substituting this 3 to our formula we have TB which is 0.87 here which is equal to some constant C because we don't know the C in the indoor condition times E to the power k but we solve already k which is negative 0.399 times t which is zero here plus the temperature in the indoor condition which is 70 degrees fahrenheit so subtracting both sides of the equation by 70 we have 0.87 minus 70 which is equal to c times e to the power zero because 0 times this, the product is 0. So we have negative 69.13 as the difference of these two quantities is equal to C times 1. So therefore, our C is equal to negative 69.13. Hence, our formula becomes T sub B, which is equal to C, 
which is equal to 69.13 times e to the power negative 0.399 t plus the temperature of the surrounding medium now we can answer to the question of this problem what is the thermometer reading at exactly 2 11 pm so here we write at t which is equal to six minutes because this is six minutes after it was taken back indoors and that is at 2 11 pm in the afternoon we can find our t sub b so our t sub b which is equal to our c which is negative 0.69.13 times e to the power of negative 0.399 times t which is 6 plus the temperature medium of 70 degrees fahrenheit so tb is equal to negative 69.13 times e to the power negative 2.39 and this will be added to 70 so using your calculator you raise this Euler's constant e to this negative 2.39 and the result multiply it to negative 69.13 we have negative 6 point two nine nine and this will be added to seventy so approximately our final temperature reading is equal to sixty three point seven degrees Fahrenheit so this is the temperature reading at two eleven in the afternoon here and that's it if you learned something today please check out my channel for more videos like this and click subscribe click the notification bell below so you'll get notified whenever i'll be posting a new video don't forget to like this video to show your support and always remember to map your way up thank you